Coach Curtis Ennis. And uh, Coach, your team is uh, undergoing, uh, you know, tough time right now. Uh, tell us about Friday night. Well, Friday night we played Gunner, the Tigers, and they were exactly what we thought they were going to be. Uh, no surprises. Yeah, they are they are a well-coached team. Uh, they don't do a whole lot. They're not fancy. They just line up and play smash mouth football, and they do it very well. They have, I think that's probably the best offensive line I've seen in a long, long time. Uh, they do a great job. Our kids, like I said, they knew going in it, was, it wasn't going to be we we're going to have to chase them. It was going to be stand up and be physical with them. And like I said, uh, I know the score was 41 to, to nothing, but uh, I felt like our kids really played well. They did a lot of things right. We did improve on some things from the previous week. We played them physical. We got physical with them. And I was, I was really happy to see that in that. Uh, the uh, Offensively, uh, I thought we did some things a lot better. We moved the ball. Uh, we put in a sophomore quarterback. Casty did a good job of running the offense. We were able to put some people back in their original positions. And uh, and he really did a good job. Like I said, it was, uh, you know, we were we played them pretty close. And then we gave, you know, we threw a pick six. And and then uh, we had a, um, we had a, gave up a little bit of punt return. to gave them a short field. And, um, but other than that, like I said, uh, they were what we thought they'd be. And like I said, and, and I thought our kids played, Played pretty pretty well considering, like I said, we didn't have Joe our Joe uh, Randall, our starting running back, didn't have him. Uh, we still didn't have Kyle, uh, and so we, and of course, we still didn't have Jordan Locklear so, as our quarterback. So, so injuries, uh, you know, slowed this team down, and you know that old momentum, uh, you know, kind of, uh, <laughs> it can swing in your favor, it can swing against you. Are your kids uh, uh, doing a good job of holding their head up? They are. They are. They're doing a really good job. Uh, I've been really pleased with the with the staff. The coaching staff's been staying real positive with the kids, and the kids' work ethic that has not hasn't dropped at all. And I've been real pleased with how hard they're working. They're staying positive. They understand. You know, we're going through this gauntlet of a schedule that we're in, and they also know that you know we got an off week, and hopefully we get everybody back, everybody healthy. Uh, but we also are facing the two toughest teams in the district right off the bat in Nocona. And holidays, so uh, we're trying to get healthy, uh, but we're also trying to do things right. And uh, and like I said, we we know what we got ahead of us, and and we got through it. And we're gonna have everybody back by the time that you are gonna have everybody back. We're gonna have everybody back by the time we start district. So that's a good thing. And and I I, I think our kids are seeing that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We just got to go through these things, you know, in between. Absolutely. Well, best of luck to you. Uh, you say you have a bye week. We're open this next week. An extra week of practice for you. Yeah, extra extra week of practice. Get healthy. Uh, stay in shape. Clean up some things offensively and clean up some things defensively. And we'll be ready to go against Nocona. Maybe that bye week's coming at at, uh, at a good time for you. And uh, Like I said, you can get your kids healthy and get everybody back on the field. Best of luck to you. All right, thank you. A medical emergency can happen when we least expect it. Luckily, Faith Community Hospital is around the corner with a level four trauma center ready when you need us. We're back. Coach Ennis, a uh, couple of your players that uh, got some time in on Friday night, uh, introduced these guys. We want to visit with them. Okay, we got Cassidy Patterson and Brett Martin. Super and Cassidy, uh, step over just a little bit. So uh, what position do you play? Uh, quarterback. And you, uh, b both sides of the ball or, or just uh, simply on offense? Yeah, and how about you? Free safety. Free safety. Extra game Friday night did not go your way, obviously. Talking to Coach a little bit earlier, the momentum, you know, swings, and it can swing either way, and it's against you right now. Uh, but within a short period of time, you got a bye week because your starting lineup's going to be back on the field. Uh, so is there a light at the end of the tunnel in everybody's mind? Yeah, I think so. How, how are you uh, assessing, you know, really the future of this team? Uh, when you get into district play? Well, like Coach Anna said, we're going to have everybody back from injuries, and we just can't let up no matter what because once we get everybody back, we'll get on a roll and we'll be good. Yeah, it should make a difference. Uh, you started as quarterback on Friday night. Uh, was that your first start? Uh, yes, sir. Was it fun? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. So there was a little bit of – I was kind of nervous since it was my first time, but I think I did all right. So. Yeah, and you're, you're getting some game time in, which is an important thing. So is quarterback 
uh, what what your future is. Oh yeah. And, and how about you? Uh, I've been playing free safety for varsity for since the beginning of this season. Started a couple games, set the bench a couple games, substitute in for because we only have two other safeties, so I'm the only sub. So we just gotta sub in and out as much as we can. I understand. Uh, how long have you been playing football? Uh, since fourth grade. Fourth, and how about you? Third grade. You gotta start young. Uh, at this point in your, you know, in your football career, uh, including high school, what's the number one thing that you would take away? You would say that you know, hey, that's that's the best thing about this game for me. Just everybody, how how everybody can work together to achieve an ultimate goal. Everybody's got to do their job to win the game. Well, that's a big life lesson. How about you? Yeah, pretty much the same thing. You just got to work hard and if everybody does their does what they're supposed to, you got a chance. So. Yep. Super. How about your summer? Did you get uh, any time off or was it all football? It was workout, workout, workout. <laughs> I mean, that's what you got to do to step up and be on varsity. Yeah. How about you, Cassie? Oh, I had a few vacations, but A few vacations? Like where? Uh, I went with him to Tennessee, and then one to we went to Colorado. So, but after that, it was all workout. So, yeah, Colorado would be a good place to be during the Texas summer. I would, I would think. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place to visit. Well, listen, best of luck to you as you guys get an, an extra week of practice in, and uh, get geared up for the the opening of district play. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir.